Hey all, welcome back. Um, this is a part one of making uh, my home network. I've got some other videos around the gear I'm using. Um, this is kind of a continuation of a series. So this is kind of the first series part um, in the series, which is me actually starting to build my rack, which is going to house all my network gear, and then eventually my home lab, and then potentially some uh, media gear, uh, such as apps and other bits for our TVs and uh, audio. So Whilst I'm predominantly going to put server hardware in it, this is actually technically a media rack uh, for you know, sound studios and, uh, and for people that might tour or have like, um, um, if you have your own like home media um, sound studio. So, not really much difference really, it's just the size. So this is slightly more shallow than a standard network rack. Uh, it also has wheels, which is actually beneficial to me. Um, and it kind of is not, generally doesn't have like the extra cable uh, management on the side of the 19 inch used. The most inch uh, um, rails, but for me it's fine. It's more than I need, and it's what also an advantage is it's slightly cheaper. So I'm going to build this. I'm going to probably time lapse it a little bit so you can just uh, um, watch this in high speed. I'll slow down any bits which uh, look a bit tricky or a bit weird. Um, and this is also my first time, so it might be a little bit of me just kind of faffing around and it's not really moving at much point. Cool. All right, let's get started. I've already, I've already opened it. So, instruction manual, uh, I'll be honest with you, not particularly detailed, but uh, and again, it shouldn't be particularly hard because it's you know, really a few pieces. Cool, let's move on. And I'm scraping for the dust, and when I start losing touch, all but giving up. So, there we have it, that's the base unit, and actually, um, that's pretty cool that the wheels can pre-attach, but let's take some effort, I thought I'd be able to build that myself, so, that's pretty cool, so as you can see, it's pretty decent, pretty heavy, I mean, it's pretty sure it's made up of some steel or equivalents, um, alright, let's go. Okay. That's a nice touch, because we got a screwdriver, there's a ton of bolts mounting, uh, washers two, the rack bolts. Samsung name branded plate, the blanket plate. Uh, so today. Sorry for the jump, but so today I learned that there is US and European threads on your rack. So you know the, the holes that you mount stuff to. See? Um, and I was listening anyway, I mean it doesn't really make that much difference to what I just read the line. Um, the spacing is slightly different. But you know, I'm in the US and um, my never gear is from the US and I'll be buying stuff in the US, so um, it doesn't make much sense to the European one, even though apparently they should still both fit. So they're different sizes basically. I think as far as I'm aware, this is an M5 screw and then six screws. So the, the US is the smaller one and the European is the bigger one. So the easiest way is to work this out. There's some instructions are saying about um, which side is uh, punched out. Um, and it doesn't really make much sense because both sides are punched into the center. So um, maybe it's referring to something I'm not aware of. <laughs> so, the easiest thing I did, I took, a, took a bag of screws and network bolts that came with my Ubiquiti switches and uh, gear and the bolts. And I just went, oh, which one does it fit into? Does it fit, does it fit into this side? No, I'm going straight through, it's too big. Oh, it goes into this side, the smaller side. So, Pain. Yeah. There you go, twist it. Here's the nice stuff. So, okay. This is the US. So, moving on. Moving on. Okay. 
just a, a testament to just actually how uh, well weighted this is. You know, hands off, and this is actually uh, not even like lifting up at all, so it's pretty decently weighted, which is nice. Um, so one side's on, um, I guess we're simply from here on out. Da, da, da. <coughs> so now we screw on two pillars, each side, and we go from there. Here we go. I know, so this is hard to see. We've got black on black, and my light's not very great down here. Being in the basement, it's too depressing. Right, I apologize. Until we run, I'll be there. Until we run, I'll be there. So, uh, it's me now, so now those two are a little pain to go in. Um, I guess uh, I should have thought about this before. Probably keep this a bit looser until the entire row is in, because actually, you can see this slight gap here. Blush here, so uh, stupid me, but hey, yeah, you learn these things as you go along. Um, so, yeah, right, uh, keep this looser, and then I guess when you've everything's actually in, then you can come along and tighten up. Otherwise, you'll have the hilarity of me uh, to the screen. Alright, this goes out to all the Alright, cool. So I've got both the sides on, um, uh, both the rails on, the rear sides facing out, um, and it kind of made more sense. We've had these, these are the punched holes, um, that's what they get down on the image, but it does not, so, never mind. So that's what we have so far. Let's do that front up to you. Um, so let's put the side on. Um, I'm going to lose my head, put side on, because uh, I'm sure the aim camera be down, so, sorry. <laughs> Let's see, headless person is still in the rank. Yeah, this is pretty heavy as well, I mean, not so as the base, but sizable. Cool, so. So that's actually simple, the top just literally slots on and now I just screw the rest of the holes in. Sweet. Um, and I'm guessing by the fact that the, the bait holes there, that's the front now. Okay. Uh, back to my previous comment of uh, loose these up, the loose and turn together. Uh, Stand by that again because it's too far down to get screwed in, so too tight. Hopefully, now we're going. You have to know, you got to know this song is for the unsung heroes. Yeah, so let's share it. There's always one, um, I guess there's always a problem when you've got sheet steel or sheet um, so There's always one thread that never go in and you, know, you mess it up, so I've uh, ruined one screw. So it didn't go in as spot as I'd like it, but you know, everything's doubled up here, so I'm not too worried. So, yeah, as you as recently faffing around what the um, biggest thing with this being affordable is that um, this hole's not been, if this is not long enough on this side, then, yeah, this hole's been drilled to uh, high, or the, the hole on the rack has been drilled to low. So, subsequently, without probably a significant amount of hammering, I know to get this front screw in. 
well, actually, in this case, the back screw, so it's not the end of the world. But a little bit annoying. You know, I guess that's something to be aware of if you're not wanting super high quality gear. Anyway, anyway. Alright, that's our side down. Let's move on to the next side. So, based on after learning about that, uh, it's Try make sure this one isn't the this is front piece. So, as I just noticed, the, the main issue actually seems to be that the frames are ever so slightly shorter than the side panels. So, I don't know how easy it is to see there. But the holes are above the grooves here pretty substantially, whereas they put these in, they put the rails in first, because I want to make sure they're meant in. Um, and now it's in like perfectly. But now I'm trying to put the panel in. And there's, there's, I have to move things around significantly to try and actually get anything in there. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing. Um, so uh, it's kind of hard for me to recommend this rack. But all in all, So I, uh, to go that last one, I actually so loosened all the bottom and kind of shifted the panels around a little bit. I'm mean, wondering if I can just send this side to try and get the spinal screw in, why I'm just going to give up. Let's no, I was being optimistic. Uh, that's not going in. <laughs> so I'll call it down. Cool. Uh, there you have it. This is basically finishing it. Um, one thing I would, would like to point out, uh, it occurs to me, is for anyone that's thinking that uh, the rack's uh, wonky, it's not uh, in the basement. Of course, it's not slope, so when it's going to hang like that, it's a marble that actually works up against the edges, parallel. So it's fine. One last thing to put on, which is the black panel. You probably don't need it. I'm going to add it because uh, it should us add a bit of a cross support to stop it twisting. Um, it's nothing special, it just says Samson on it, um, which is the brand. Uh, Alright, cool. So let's do a final round up of this thing. Um, I would like to say it's easier. I'd like to say it's easier than it was to put. I'd like to say it's pretty easy to put together, but it was. The only difficulty putting it together was actually uh, some of the angle lines, some of the steel not being cut evenly between the rails and sheet panel um, and the side. Sorry, um, that's a little frustrating. So you know, it's just so I struggle to get some of these top screws in. Um, so I guess my tip to you is if you're going to build one of these. Make sure you get your fronts in first, uh, get your rails in first, and then work on the side panel because these are load bearing, these are just more aesthetics. Um, it's, uh, I mean, but apart from that, I mean, it's, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with that. It's actually, it's actually sturdy than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, it's such a pretty decent side, pretty decent uh, steel, or uh, whatever it is. Um, I'll give you a link to the what product it is in my description below. Um, would I buy another one of these? No. Oh, that's my honest opinion. Um, but as a starter, I think this was about $200 brand new, probably much cheaper than that. Um, uh, I'd say yeah, I mean it's pretty cool. I mean more, well, I'll give another update on this after I just start harder in it. You know, maybe I start putting networking gear in it and it just doesn't handle it. Um, we shall see. Um, so, apart from that, it has got locks on the wheels, if someone's wondering. Um, it's just kind of a must for <laughs> any kind of movable cabinet. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Any questions, uh, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll answer them. Anyway, see you all next time.